it going everybody my name is Coden today we have another video for you today on Gerard Crovey the brand new zombie map now in these videos all I'm gonna do is show you the basics about how to turn the power on how to get the shield parts and etc until glitches come out or if they're found but anyway guys let me show you how you're gonna turn the power on what you guys need to do is make it from spawn to open the first location where I go simply right over here now what you're gonna do is you're gonna buy the debris that goes up this staircase and buy this door simply over here you're going to get 1,000 to go to this area right over here and then once you guys do that make sure you guys get 1250 and that's your last step you're gonna make it to this marble building and then you'll just see the power right over here and you will have successfully turned it on completely but that is it guys that is it for today's video i will have more videos for you later but if you guys enjoyed this video please drop a like down below and also subscribe for some more black ops 3 glitches and be sure to comment down below because i do respond to every comment but as always my name is koda and i'll catch you guys next time it's going everybody my name is koda and today i'm going to show you how you're going to build the shield on Guru truvi but anyway guys let me show you how you're going to do this so what you guys are going to need to do is make it to this location over here this is going to be one of the locations where you're going to be able to find the first shield part the second location is if you go down these stairs and you just go to this fan and you see inside this box that should be another location and the last location for the first part should be located in the bunker and that's exactly where mine was the second shield part locations is first one is you make it up the stairs here and it should be in between these two boxes right over here now if that's not the location it's in the second location is located on this bunk bed as you see here this is where my location was so i simply will pick that up later on and the third location is located up these stairs here straight ahead and then right on that rock now the last location is if you buy the bridge simply for 500 points you're gonna make it to the first location which is right here on the wall here if it's not in that location then you're gonna simply make it down the stairs here and it should be in this location right here if it's not in that location the last location that it could be located is make it down this hill right over here and it should be right against the wall near the perkaholic machine but anyway guys that is it that is how you're gonna get all the shield parts because as we all know that is the most crucial part of zombies is the shield but anyway guys i hope this was helpful if you guys did enjoy please drop a like down below and also subscribe for some more black ops 3 videos i have more videos coming out for you today so stay tuned for that but as always my name is koda and i'll catch you guys next time Hello everybody my name is koda and today we have another grow trophy video for you today we're gonna show you how you're going to pack a punch your weapon but anyway guys let me show you how you're gonna do this so what you guys need to do is turn on the power now once you guys have turned on the power your job is to get three cylinders that drop from zombies once you guys have acquired a cylinder make your way over to the first location which is right here near the power room and you should see a green beam of light in the air now your job is to get to that location as soon as possible because zombies are gonna start running at it like crazed maniacs and they'll try to dismantle it after you've defended this cylinder for so long the zombies will stop spawning and you will get your first piece after you've collected that part then what you're going to need to do is grab another cylinder that of course drops from a random zombie and then you're going to make it to the location right over here inside this broken mansion. Now uh, once again a beam of light will shine down you'll have to go defend it and once you're done defending that then you will have your second piece. Then the last thing you need to do is get your third cylinder then traverse your way over to this location over here where you will see the last control panel. Hit that find the beam of light defend it once again then get your third piece now the last step you guys need to do is make it down to the bunker area and then you're gonna hold square over this thing over here and it should then activate the dragon controlling center for you once you're done that make it back to the power room and then kill a bunch of zombies until i believe you get a dragon cylinder once you guys have acquired that dragon cylinder then you are able to summon the dragon simply like this just pay 500 points and there you go guys you will hop on the dragon as a team 
and you will get this little cool little neat cutscene where the dragon will take you to a pack a punch location once you're here then simply make it down these stairs here and there you go guys you guys can pack a punch your weapon in order to make it out of the pack a punch room you guys just need to simply go back down more and jump into this water and then you should be redirected back to the spawn through the sewers but anyway guys i hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and if you did smack that like button down below because it does help me a lot also subscribe to my channel for some more black ops 3 videos i have some glitches coming up for you guys soon but as always guys my name is coda and i'll catch you guys next time